All right, triangle two, we have a right triangle, so we know the right angle's right here. Once I know that, I know the X is my hypotenuse. Now, they gave us 27 down here, so who's this 21 length they gave us? He's all the way on the other side, so he is my opposite side, okay? And here would be your adjacent side, but we don't have any measurements there, so we're not using that in the problem. We use an opposite hypotenuse. Now, our little saint, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid, which has O in it and the H in it. That's a sign problem. So I'm going to write the sine of the angle, which is 27 degrees over 1 equals. It says it has to be opposite, which is 21 divided by the hypotenuse, which we don't know is X. Now, this is why I always like to set this up as a proportion, because here we now, if you had had just 21 over X equals sine of 27, you might get confused. But here you're like, oh, two fractions equal means extremes property. These multiplied equal those multiplied. So we can see X times the sine of 27 is equal to 21 times 1, which is 21. Now, to get X by itself, the sine of 27 is just some number, point blah, blah, blah. So you're going to divide by that. So we don't need to write what that number is. Just divide by the sine of 27. So we get X by itself. And all I need to do is now get the calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, and do 21 divided by the sine of 27. And I got 46.3 approximately. Rounded to the tenths. So the hypotenuse right here is about... 46.3. And again, hypotenuse is always the longest leg. This leg across from a little small angle is 21. So yeah, 46.3 seems to make sense.